Lambert, Lambert, I'm coming to talk to you. What's the deal, Lambert? All right, high time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Who the hell's Lund? Was that the supervisor guy? I didn't know his name was Lund. Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, he fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the School of the Cat. As far as I remember, the Ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the Ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a Duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. What do you intend to do? I intend to get even with the bastards who did it. Karadin, most of all. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vienne. What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. <laughs> now, why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town news has changed. Caradin's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund, but they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tresigor, Hammond to Skelliger, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to then. This Sleaze. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigor, the kind rich men frequent. Pours suck information out of them. And she sells it. Name of this brothel. The Black Lily. Celise always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh once he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? 
Goyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cuntsalese. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Solis. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Back off. Arseholes. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hannon. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Solis. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Okay, so that quest stops there for now, I guess. Not going to Skellige yet. Ah, uh, right, next quest. Oh, quest Reno, quest Inundo. Uh, uh, uh. I sort of quickly wanted to do that and then we'll head to the main quest. Oh, the not main, well, yeah, the main quest. So the dream is one after. God damn, the cats are bloody loud. For all they know, what might as well just. Beat this person in Gwent real quick, sort of advance that quest on or finish up whichever comes first. And then we'll, it'll, it'll be real quick, just like a five minute thing, and then we'll move on. I mean, the longest part of this will be us actually getting there since it's on the northern part of the city. Oh god, oh, that was a lucky jump. What are these things? Is this like for making clay? What is it like? I don't know. There's like bricks around it. I think that's what you use to make bricks. I believe so anyway. I mean I'm guessing so there's like bricks everywhere. Yeah, that's how that's where they uh, cook the clay to form the brick. Must be order. Oh, that sign's pretty cool. It's like the scissor is the bit that holds up the flag. That's quite nice. That's a cool design. I like it. I like it a lot. And remember, never venture into the bits alone. Always take a part. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Been thinking. Know who started this war? Hey, not like that. What difference would it make? Look, God, you can definitely uh, What's he doing here? tell the difference in like the higher up, the higher class part of town and the lower class part. Ends oh, this time. place looks really nice. Looking for something unusual? Maybe. Do you offer that something unusual? I like this place looks nice though, I like it. Uh, nothing hurts as much as yep. White Wolf! 
Welcome to the passive flora. Oh, no sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings, uh... Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. So the, uh, staff hasn't changed since then? Oh, of course it has. It does so incessantly in this business. Burley Berthy married a merchant. Ella struck out on her own. And you'll likely find Cerise praying at the temple. I alone remain. So, shall I summon the girls? Just remember, this is a decent establishment, pause to yourself to start with, and our girls are well-mannered. The range of subjects they discuss in detail, I myself find it daunting. I'm curious, you play Gwent? Certainly. Though for high stakes exclusively, of course. In fact, the game would be exceedingly boring without the risk. Up for a round? Why, yes. Let's play. Ooh, a Nilfgaard deck. Mm, this could be a little troublesome. Uh, get rid of you. Get rid of both of you, actually, to be honest. Very uh, odd from the past so quickly. I'm waiting for a spider to come out so I can decoy it and put it down on their side again. Uh, torrential rain, that, um, I might as well put it down now to be honest. Because I'm not going to win this round, I don't plan to either, so... Uh, hold that. And then that way it gets rid of his 10 card. Oh nice, that was a nice waste. That's not good. We can deal with that though. That was surprisingly a lot easier than I thought it would be, considering it's a Nilfgaard deck, I guess the AI just drew a bad uh, hand. Didn't really have much good in it. Like, for points wise, it was two, like, two Scorches, two uh, war horn, uh, Commander Horns, a Weather Effect card. Was not a good go for her. I fail to understand how I lost that. Oh, I believe this card belongs to you now. You had a bad hand, that's why you lost it. Rare cards. In Novigrad, Siggy Reuven's collection is famous. You really should challenge him. <laughs> what card I get? Is it a gold one? Oh, I think, I think it is a gold one, isn't it? It's a Nilfgaard card though, so... Not really that interested in a Nilfgaard deck. Oh, got two cards. So one of them probably definitely was a gold one then. Nice. Right, let's go talk to this a dreamer. Ah, youth these days. They've rained all of them.
Look awfully suspicious to me, tramp. They ought to never let your kind in, Novigrad proper. Oh, it's clear as the eternal fire. Darkness everywhere. I, I, Where'd you I think you're going? Around. Saw a health bar pop up at the bottom of my screen. I thought there was a fight going on, but I guess not. Wait, where am I going? This way. Why are you telling me to go, game? Just passing by, wanderer. Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling in the night and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Stop. Wait. Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! I was about to say something, but now I've forgotten because she started talking. Ah! The godling. Wake up, it's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. Oh, hello. All right. Oh. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Well, this isn't the attic. Where the hell am I? Stop! Go away! Leave it! Way to the next room is blocked. Second floor. Wonder what had happened if I laid a doll in it. Put it down, please. 
There's blood. Don't spill it. Where was it in here? Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Is it gonna be in the basement? Because I saw this when I was coming up here. I mean, it makes sense, yeah. Scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Your eyes are creepy. Compared to Johnny, like, they just, they're so blue. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes! 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. I can't just kick her out. Like, she's a little girl, like, you know. Can't just kick her out. What's in here, though? Hello. Really? There's a hidden wall and a chest behind the wall, and it's just. Goddamn trash in here. Where's the real loot? Give me the loot. Give me the give me the saddle. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. 
I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish, but in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. All right, cool stuffs. I guess that's dealt with. Probably have to tools this banker now, aren't we? I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved, or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Ones. Economically. What? I don't care. Temple guard let even you into the city. Played at Hall Sands Den. Stop going there after they saw me. No, I'll deal with that quest out there later after I've done here. Uh, upstairs is saying she is. Where is she? Up here. Oh damn! This room though. What the hell? Okay. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. 
I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For God's know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Volker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No when a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah. There's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot.
dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Hmm. I went through like all of the options there just because I wanted to like get every bit of information like that about Siri. A lot, of, a lot of the information like that you heard is uh from the books and stuff. Or happens during the books and stuff like that. Got a snake. Um, well, we have sixteen thousand six hundred sixty-one crowns. Didn't realize. Didn't know that. I knew we had a lot, but I didn't know we had nearly twenty thousand. All right, so probably quickly pick up this quest, and I guess we'll head to the Rosemary and Time. What is this quest anyway? Just so we clear, the when you lose, fire. you can't. A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. High time to change that, for if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. And the witcher's shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Pause. Okay then. Yeah, it's time to get a few little quests to go to Skellige now. Right, we need to head to speak to Dandelion, so let us go to his brothel. It's across town, so it's going to take a little bit to get there. Oh, 